We will not face the night alone. Wonderful words in that song. You may remember that when I was last leading the service back, I think in January, I was trying to do a jigsaw puzzle that I'd been given as a Christmas present. It was of a dark scene, a night scene in, in Amsterdam, and I was getting a ridiculous amount of joy, quite sadly, to be honest, of being able to recognise one image on a piece and fitting it into the whole jigsaw puzzle. Well, the jigsaw puzzle got harder as the pieces got darker and darker and it just became a mass of black and grey. And it wasn't the fact I hate quitting on things. I probably would have either have just given up and left it or had an accident and uh, suddenly one morning, just by accident, found all the pieces on the table. But I persevered and the thing that helped me persevere and get the puzzle to completion was when I saw that running through most of the pieces was a thin red line. And that was an additional way of me being able to make sense of the piece and bring the whole pieces of the puzzle together into one coherent picture. Now, I, my mind probably went to running off in all sorts of tangents at that point, but it did make me think that sometimes our life seems a mess of puzzle pieces. We don't know how it all fits together. And that we need to look for Jesus. And it's seeing Jesus and finding him, having a glimpse of Jesus, that helps us make sense of what's going on. It makes our scene, our setting make sense. And as we close today's service, I do pray that for all of us, we will take on those aspects of Jesus, the glimpses of Jesus we've seen, and look to him as we lead our lives in the coming week. Finally, I'd like now to thank everybody who's taken part in the service today, whether we've seen you, heard from you, or those people we never seen, we never see, the techies who do so much behind the scenes and without whom these services would never happen. Thank you all very much indeed. And I now look forward to seeing many of you on our Zoom coffee time together. And we'll also have some church, church family notices at that time too. Let's now close with a word of prayer. May the strength of God sustain us. May the power of God preserve us. May the hands of God protect us. May the way of God direct us. May the love of God go with us this day, this night and forever. Amen.